Hey pros, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So this video is just an informational video. We're going to talk a little bit in regards to um, how to handle color treated hair. So my client here has a, she is actually 100% gray. Um, she gets her hair colored every couple of weeks when she comes into the salon. She's also fully relaxed, but we have not actually relaxed her hair in quite some time because her cuticle lays nice and flat. So we just kind of wing it and only relax her when absolutely necessary. Now, let's talk a little bit about her hair color. This is a custom color. We use about three different colors to create this particular level of color for her. And it is um, done with a 10 volume or less, which is a great thing. Now, when she comes in, she typically comes in and her hair... Um, changes to a much lighter color or it actually fades to a much lighter color almost like a salmon pink and there's nothing wrong with the color at this point you guys so that was another reason why I wanted to make this video because a lot of times because you don't understand color you think that it's a bad thing that your color has faded color only has a certain lifespan on it until it fades so when you think of hair color I want you to think of your t-shirts your shorts your socks anything that has an actual dye applied to it over time, that color is going to fade. So it is this, it's actually the same concept when it comes on to hair color. Just because the color says permanent or the color says semi-permanent or demi-permanent, that doesn't mean that it is not going to fade. Semi-permanent colors typically have the shortest lifespan. Demi-permanent colors are right behind it. And then permanent colors come third. Permanent colors, the only thing that makes them permanent is because you are using a developer that oxidizes that color. So that's what we call oxidized color. Demi-permanent color is also an oxidized color, but it uses an extremely low level of developer, usually less than, um, typically less than 1%, but it just depends on the company that you're using. Semi-permanent colors does not use any form of peroxide or developer to make them work. So those colors are literally tints or just a application from bottle to hair onto the hair. So we call those deposit only colors. They cannot actually lift your color. They only deposit whatever color is in that bottle. Okay. So that's the difference between the three. My client here who is, like I said, 100% gray, she gets what we call a permanent color because it is a 10 volume developer. And that developer allows the cuticle, which is that gray hair as it's growing in, it's going to open that cuticle or swell that cuticle, which is the proper term, and deposit that color in there all at the same time. Typically, most color companies rep recommend anywhere between a 10 and 20 volume for gray coverage. In her case, I like to use a very low level developer, which is a 10 volume, because my goal is, of course, to cover her gray. But at the same time, because I know she is relaxed, I still need to preserve the integrity or protect the integrity of her hair. Now, let's talk about the colors that fade first. Any color in the red or copper family typically have a very low lifespan. The reason being, they are reds and coppers. Those colors do not have um, a good shelf life when it comes on to being applied to the hair. They change with environmental changes. They, when you shampoo your hair, they rinse out the fastest in regards to um, the lifespan. And if you're comparing your reds and coppers to blacks and browns, blacks and browns are considered to be staining colors, especially and also included in that blues. So blue is a bully color. In the hair color world, we always say blue is bully because blue is actually one of the most complicated colors to get out of the hair, the same as black and also brown. They come out as tints and stains, no matter if they are semi-permanent, semi-permanent, or permanent. It's very rare that you will see a blue color in a permanent base. You typically will see that in like a blacks and browns. Blues are typically known as fashion colors. But as I said, they are stainy colors and they are the hardest color to remove from the hair. So with blues, they typically lighten up as well. They too do not have a long lifespan, but even with them lightening, they end up lightening to like a green or like an aqua blue. Reds and coppers will lighten to more of like a, the reds will typically go to a copper color and then the copper colors will go to like a salmon pink or peach or whatever level you want to call that kind of color. So if you are 100% gray, when this hair lightens, of course, it's going to lighten even or fade to an even lighter color. Whereas if your hair is 
dark brown or black or your salt and pepper, it's not going to to fade as, as light as it would if you were 100% gray. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your colors. How you can protect the life of your color. Um, they have color enhancing conditioners and shampoos. You can use what we call cocktail rinses. A cocktail rinse is basically getting a semi-permanent color, applying some of that semi-permanent color to your shampoo and conditioner, and then allowing that to sit on your hair for about five to 10 minutes. That will help to refresh the life of that color that you have in your hair without having to do that permanent process. Now, the only thing that I will say is if you are 100% gray and you are trying to do a refresher, it is not going to help you once that gray hair starts to grow out. Reason being is gray is one of the most, um, what's the word? Ignorant. <laughs> I'll use that word. It's one of the most ignorant, most complicated colors or hair colors to deal with because it grows that way. And it is also the most resistant to majority chemical services such as hair coloring. That is another reason why semi-permanent colors do not last on gray hair because gray hair is so re resistant. It is one of those colors that it really needs that oxidation. It really sometimes needs that developer to help swell the cuticle and open it up so that you can deposit color. Now, I am definitely a firm believer in hair color should be done by a professional. So if you are one where you don't understand hair color, I don't recommend just going into the store and getting a box color. Box colors, if not done right, can also become very damaging. It can also leave the hair extremely dry, especially when you're dealing with cases where you're trying to do colors like these, where we say they're more like a fashion color, reds, coppers, oranges, those different things. If you're doing like a black and a brown, you can honestly use a demi-permanent color and that, that would typically work just fine as well. I will say in the salon, unless I'm doing a color like this where I'm lifting to um, a higher level, if I'm doing blacks and browns, I typically stay within semi-permanent or demi-permanent colors. The only time I will use a permanent color is if I'm doing colors like reds, coppers, light browns, um, mainly because I do need the cuticle to swell I need it to open so that I can deposit and lift all at the same the time. Is, now, a lot of you don't understand developers, so we're going to go over that as well. Yeah. Developers Science are basically peroxide, you guys. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, and around. sometimes 50 okay. volume developers. You can go, you can get the higher the developer, number one, the stronger it is. Number two, two the more lift you can achieve um, from using you know, that level I mean, of developer. She's in a better place it is typically best to not use anything ago, over a 30 volume on the scalp. And the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because, number one, if you're doing this yourself at home, you need to understand what you're doing. Number two, if you're doing it with a stylist and your stylist has no knowledge of color you can now know how to handle your hair and also tell your stylist how you want your hair handled okay if your stylist gets um a little antsy about that just figure out a better way to have that conversation you know how to talk with your stylist now 10 volume is one of the lowest levels of lift it usually gives you zero to one level of lift then 20 volume um can be like anywhere between two and three levels of lift 30 three to five levels of lift, 40, five levels of lift and up, and then 50. I don't even recommend using 50 volume, but 50 volume can be used on like extensions, that kind of thing. I am, 50 volume is actually very dangerous, so I wouldn't even touch a 50 volume, and even 40 volume can be very, very dangerous. So that's another reason why I say definitely professional and, you know, do your research before you get certain colors done. Now, we've understanding the developers. Let's talk about hair color. If your hair color is black and you are trying to get to a blonde, that does require what we call lightener or bleach. A lot of these different colors, if you're coming from a level one, level two, level three, requires you to actually get your hair lifted first for you to be able to deposit these colors. The difference with gray hair is it's already high level lift naturally. So you're able to start from that base and get up to these colors. But if you are coming from dark hair like my hair, I can't go from a, a black or doing black hair color for several black. years and try to go platinum. Eyebrows, I know. That literally is going to tear my hair yeah, apart before I even get to the level of platinum. And over time, that hair is gonna shed away. So you wanna make sure you understand what you're doing before you're doing it. As easy as it is to pick a color, that doesn't mean that it's going to automatically be suitable for your hair 
and also depending on how you care for your hair and hopefully you're using elite hair care products at the same time not everyone's hair can support high level lifts of color okay so i hope this video is just giving you guys a little bit of insight on dealing with hair color it is not to scare you from getting hair color it is more to educate you and give you that knowledge so that when it is time for you to make a decision that is permanent such as this you are making a sound decision from knowledge that you've learned by watching the Elite Hair Care USA videos. Also, if you're new to my channel, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video and comment in the comments. If you have gotten the actual hair color, I want, actually, you know what? I want to take a poll. Comment in the comments and tell me if you do your own hair color or if you go to a salon and get your hair colored. Let's see, I have a strange feeling that a lot of people are going to say they do their hair color at home. And if you do do your hair color at home or in the salon, also comment if your hair is in a very healthy state or do you feel like the color is the reason why your hair is not so healthy. You'll be very surprised at what people will say in the comments. So I definitely want you guys to go down there and check those comments out. It will give you a lot of insight on other people's experience with hair color. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment also, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, by the way, I'm just using my comb just to kind of fluff out her hair a little bit, give her just a small amount of volume. She does have a shortcut, but volume doesn't hurt. And then, of course, the color that she has is kind of like an auburn or a chestnut color. So it has a hint of copper, a hint of red. And we also deepened it with a little bit of brown. So that is how we were able to do this. Um, her service typically takes about 30 to 45 minutes of processing with the color. And then she goes under with the Elite Silk Wrap Foam, getting her mold. And then we curl her up and she's out of the salon. And I see her usually once a month. Now, like I said, coppers and reds fades first. So that's another reason why I see her about once every month for her to get her color refreshed and get back to where she is now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching. Peace.